How's it going my fellow aviators and welcome to a recap of the interesting news that's occurred in the first 10 days of December. Now the most exciting news for many Boeing fans has to do with the 777X. If you've been following the development of the plane, then you'll come to realize that the fuselage parts of the 777-9 has already been fitted and they went through the stages of testing the internal power of the aircraft for the first time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is very exciting because it means that the plane is almost ready for its first test flight, which will be early next year. From here on out, Boeing will install the essential systems such as the flight controls, the engines and the computer systems, and the last stage will be fitting the passenger seats. I mean, it's still unknown at this moment in time whether the plane will only be a test craft or want to be delivered. But if we go by what history suggests, then it's most likely going to be a test aircraft. But nevertheless, Emirates will be the launch customer and having taken delivery of their last 777-300ER, the next plane to be delivered will be the Boeing 777X. So that's exciting times ahead for the airline. Now moving on to Flybe, and their future is still very much uncertain and the latest reports suggest that they've had a massive falling out with Monarch Engineering. Now for the people who don't know, they're a specialist maintenance provider in the UK which does maintenance on a large chunk of Flybe's fleet. We know that the airline is struggling with revenue and this goes in hand with the fact that Monarch Engineering hasn't been paid and they now refuse to take any more work from Flybe and they've also cancelled the contract. Now people might be asking, is this bad news or is it simply changing your supplier? Well, it is actually bad news. The airline has been put up for sale and there doesn't seem to be any progress on potential buyers. There are hints however that British Airways are interested but they haven't stated anything so we can't really say anything at this moment in time. If a buyer can't be found or an injection of revenue isn't received, then we'll most likely see another airline go down under but I'll keep you guys updated regarding that. Now moving into the US market and you could say it's more business as usual compared to the European market. Southwest Airlines has had to raise their ticket prices because the airline doesn't charge for extras as other carriers do. Alaska has also announced that they will decide in February whether or not to continue to operate a two-type fleet. We know that they inherited the Virgin America A320 planes and it seems like they're uncomfortable with operating two types of aircraft. But I think that they've already made their decision to sell their A320s and they plan to buy more Boeing 737s for fleet commonality of course. Also, Allegiant Air has retired its last MD series aircraft and is now an all Airbus airline. And while we're on the subject of Airbus, let's move over to the Middle East and they finally delivered an A380 to Emirates that had been stuck in a state of full delivery completion but with no engines. Now this was partly due to a fight with Rolls Royce over contract differences. They both signed a latest contract to supply engines but Rolls Royce wants to cancel the deal which they claim is unsustainable. Emirates had one interpretation of the contract and Rolls Royce had another. Now a deal was struck to free up this aircraft but the next plane to be delivered still doesn't have engines and is causing Airbus a schedule and cash flow issues as it holds up their A380 deliveries. Now there's no doubt about it that things are getting very tense over there and it could mean Emirates walking away from the A380 and also Rolls Royce but to be honest I don't think it will go that far but we'll have to wait and see. So there you go guys, that was some interesting news that came out of the first 10 days of December. As always do share your opinions and thoughts regarding any part of the news mentioned. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video guys and I hope to catch you in the next one.